It's springtime, the vines have started to grow, and the new shoots from all the plants that we have in this area have reached a certain height. And so it's time to start focusing on the fruit that we're going to produce from this vintage. In previous discussions and in video posts on pruning, uh, I've shared a little information about how and why we prune the vineyard, how we keep the canes and wood for the growth that we're going to expect in the new season. As is the case with grapevines, we get a lot of growth from buds that we don't intend to leave for fruit production. We call this unwanted growth suckers. We're going to go through the vineyard now and remove them from the grapevines. They arise from either the one-year-old wood from last year or buried buds from previous years. The number of suckers we find on a given vine is based on water availability, the vigor of the soil, and the vineyard site. vineyard manager Gabriel Valencia. We're going to turn our attention to one of these vines which hasn't been suckered yet and we'll show you what we're trying to achieve and what we need to remove in order to get that. Here Gabriel is removing the trunk suckers. These shoots arise from the secondary buds that remain buried in the older wood. Gabriel now moves to the cordons. Suckers arise from both the one-year-old wood from last year's fruiting canes and from older buried buds. He removes all the unwanted shoots, leaving the two primary shoots that were left on the two-bud spur at pruning. Gabriel also removes any doubles or secondary shoots that have popped up alongside the primary one. It is often very difficult to determine which is primary and which is secondary at this stage. We normally select the one that shows better potential for fruit in this harvest, and another consideration would be the orientation for selection as a spur next year. So we have to train it, teach it how we'd like to see it grow for the production of the new wines for the 2012 vintage. 